R2-D2. Johnny Five. Hello, bozos. The Terminator. I'll be back. These are a few of the robots from sci-fi that come to mind when considering where the robot revolution might take us. But the truth is, the robots promised by Hollywood are still part of a galaxy far, far away. The Defense Department's top research agency, DARPA, recently hosted a competition in Miami where teams from around the world moved their robots through simple obstacle courses. The objective? To see how they'd perform in a disaster area, like a damaged nuclear power plant. The reason we're in this business at DARPA is because we want to make the technology investments that change what's possible for the future, but that means we often are starting with technologies when they're very, very early. Opening doors and walking up ladders is easy for most humans, not so for robots. For the robot, say, to climb a ladder, the process would be something like, okay, carefully walk him up till his toes are about even with the lower step. Now I'm going to raise one arm, I'm going to move it forward, put it onto a step, the other arm. Okay, so there's a sequence of probably a dozen different patterns in here. Lots of tiny little pieces, most of them being executed. And as a matter of fact, look at it, they barely walk. They fall, tumble, topple, and then they're really, really slow. I see these robots as uh, a one-year-old toddler, so to speak. This is the first time it's taking a step. These bots might be slow and clumsy now, but robotics engineers told CNN they're making major strides. However, a major stride in robotics may mean only a small step for a robot. I think it's important to be realistic about how incredibly technically challenging these kinds of capabilities are. We do hope robots will get a lot more capable, but we are miles from the kinds of things that we've been able to imagine in, in the world of science fiction. Jose Pellieri, CNN Money, Miami.